This is a step-by-step -step guide to performing capsule endoscopy. Performing a capsule endoscopy includes the following steps. Charging and setting up the system. Entering the patient data. Performing the study. Data download. And reviewing the study and creating the report. Let's see how to charge and set up the system. The cradle has two connectors. First, plug in the power adapter and then connect it to the power connector on the cradle. Next, connect the USB Type B connector onto the data port. When the receiver is placed in the cradle, it will automatically turn on. You need to enter the patient data before commencing the procedure. Load the software by clicking the rapid icon. Click on the patient check-in button. The software will indicate that it's trying to connect to the recorder. Select the recorder and press the check-in patient button. Click next to proceed. Enter the patient details. All cages marked with a red asterisk are compulsory. Enter the ID of the capsule as shown in the sticker. The software will automatically identify the type of the capsule. The reason for referral can either be typed or selected from a drop-down menu. Then enter the height and the weight of the patient. Double check all the information shown on the screen and click the finish button. This will transfer this data to the receiver and prepare it for the recording. It will indicate that the patient check-in is complete.
let's look at how to perform the study. Each sticker pouch has a fabric like side and a shiny side. You place the sensor in between these layers. When placing the sensors inside the sticker pouch, place the hole in the sensor to overlap the hole in the sticker pouch. Insert the sensor to the sticker pouch. Then turn it over, bend it backwards and peel off the sticker. Then secure it by pasting the pouch closed. Place the sensors on the patient's body according to the locations indicated in these images. This is how the sensors look like when it's placed on a patient's body. Place the strap of the case over the left shoulder. Then secure the belt around the waist. Finally, move the case to a convenient location to place the receiver and secure it by closing the velcro flaps. To connect the sensor array to the receiver, orientate the arrow forward and connect it to the connector on the side of the receiver. Once the recording is complete, you need to download the data. Load the software by clicking on the rapid icon. Then click on the recorder download button. The software will try to connect to the recorder. It will identify the last recording on the recorder. Double check the name of the patient. Press the create video button. The software will download the images from the recorder. The screen also shows the battery level of the recorder. Do not try to disconnect the recorder from the cradle during this period. Once the images have been downloaded, the software will edit the library. Once the data have been downloaded into the software, you can review the study and create the report. Click on the View Study button and then select Study Manager. This will open the database of patients. Select the study you want to assess and click the Open button. One way of reviewing the study is by pressing the play button. You can adjust the play speed by moving the slider. Before beginning to report, set the landmarks to understand the anatomy better. Pressing this button allows you to move the video one image at a time. Here, we are setting the landmark of the Z line of the esophagus. The 
this is the first gastric image. You can move the slider to adjust the video speed to a comfortable level. If you would like to review an area, you can go back using the back arrow. You can use the timeline to jump to any area you would like. Here, we are trying to identify the first seagull image. This is the area of the Ileocecal valve. You can identify the cecum and the colon by the presence of a large volume of fecal material. Once you have identified all the anatomical landmarks, you can begin to review the study. When you identify a suspicious area, you can mark it by double-clicking on that image. You can also use the circle and arrow markers to indicate these abnormalities. You can also insert individual comments for these images. There are four templates that you can use when creating the report. To select the images that are used in the report, click on the small box on the left upper corner of each image. Click on the preview button to see your report. Click on the print button to print the report. To turn on the FICE mode, click on the ON button. Clicking on the ADJUST button will give you different options for image optimization.
Here you can see that blood is better visualized using the FISE mode. Clicking on the SBI button will activate the small bubble blood indicator mode. This will highlight the images where the software believes there is significant amount of blood identified. This is useful for quickly screening the images when you suspect a patient is having a GI bleed. Turning on the files mode will allow you to use different image optimization to visualize certain situations better. 